Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power's audience shrank every week. A new report suggests the viewership from Amazon Prime's video, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, steadily declined with every new episode. Let's talk about this, everyone. I'm WFS, your doctor, and today I want to discuss this because Amazon, for all that it was trying to do, for all its uh, belittling of the fans, calling them angry fans, hateful people, racist, any type of thing they could to belittle the fans of the, sh of the lore of the Lord of the Ring books and of the Peter Jackson films, it looks like there may be a little redemption involved here because according to this, the Lord of the Rings has lost its viewership as the weeks went on. So let's take a look. Okay, so before we continue with this article here, I wanna just say something I've said many times before when it comes to the Lord of the Rings and reviewing the Rings of Power. I do not know anything really about the books. My experience comes from the Peter Jackson movies, the Lord of the Rings and uh, The Hobbit and the animated series that came out back in the 70s. That's as far as my experience with this goes, beyond watching this fantastic show that is just so exciting and just makes you just cry out for more. So let's dive into this, shall we? New reports show that the viewership of Amazon's Prime Video, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, contracted every week during its inaugural eight episode run. According to an analyst from Variety, Nielsen reports indicate that the show earned 1% fewer, fewer minutes streamed every consecutive week with comparatively fewer views starting the show in the week after it premiered. In other words, 1% of the show or the audience dipped off every week from that point on, from the premiere of the two-hour show. The show also seems to have its largest drop-off after its first two weeks, which showed a decline of around 20%. This suggests that a good amount of the viewers who streamed The Rings of Power early on gave up on it pretty soon afterwards. Well, that is kind of understandable. The show really was nothing more than a lot of slow dialogue with very little to practically no action at all. And when the action did start, it showed up around the seventh episode, wasn't long, and then very little after that on the, on the final episode of, it was just slowly dragging on. While New Nielsen's metrics only measured the U.S. viewership connected to television, excluding viewers streaming on other types of devices, the visible download trend is notable in the trade analysts, which sees a problematic f for the show's future growth. Yet, the Rings of Power is still making a victory of it of its impressive early viewership numbers. According to Amazon, the Lord of the Rings prequel series saw an impressive 25 million viewers in the first 24 hours after it premiered. These numbers made its prime video most watched series premiere to date. Now I know a lot of people are arguing out there that they really weren't recording it. There was no way for us to actually monitor if this was true or not with the exception of taking Prime's word for it. Now this one right here is definitely interesting. However, the show also saw a spike in demand following the October 14th series finale. According to Par Parrot Analytical, there was an impressive 55.7 times increase in viewership, which was an all-time high viewership number for season one of the show. Those numbers may bode well for season two of The Rings of Power, which has officially begun filming outside of London, England. 
The show executive producer, Lindsay Weber, already teased that the show's creators have some epic things in store for the new episodes, saying that it is going to be grittier, more intense, maybe a little scarier, now that Sauron is truly identified and is finally on the scene and in the open. Weber wasn't the only one who made big promises for season two of The Rings of Power. Co-showrunner Patrick McKay said that the new, the new season will be bigger and better on every level, by an order of magnitude. Part of this may be due to with the fact that the he and co-showrunner J.D. Payne took audience criticism from season one into consideration. The cake was kind of baked before the audience response came in, he said. Certainly, you'll look at the audience response and you see what characters people love and what kind of storytelling moves, moves them. And explaining that while he and McKay aren't over-correcting for any of it, they are listening to the people's response. Yeah, that's why all the backlash against the fans took place, isn't it? Because you were listening and you were just saying, Oh, we understand. We weren't telling you to shut up, sit back, relax, and enjoy what we make. It doesn't matter what the books say. It doesn't matter what the, what the fans are saying. We're right. You're wrong. Well, Amazon certainly has an interesting dilemma on their hands here, but it does sound like they're trying to correct things. I'm not sure if it's even correctable to be telling you the truth here because I've seen this show and I think I've asked this question before and, I, and I've said this to other people too and I really believe this. <clears throat> Excuse me. In my opinion, it's not the fact that they get a large viewership the first time out, the first time a show airs. That's not to me a real indicator of how good a show is. What is an indicator is the return viewership. How many times somebody wants to go back and re-watch this show? That, to me, tells you how good something is. I mean, if you want a clear example of that, you look at Star Trek, and I'm not talking about the new stuff, the original series, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, um, Star Wars. How many times have they revisited all those movies and even the animated cartoons? Quite a bit. And not to mention Doctor Who. Doctor Who, up until, I believe, the 13th Doctor, was doing quite well. And people were revisiting the shows over and over again. Even the classic Doctor Who, people loved it. But I'm wondering how many people are going back and re-watching this. Well, I really would like your thoughts and opinions on this. Because... This to me sounds like someone's desperately trying to boost her up, bolster up the rings of power again. Oh, trust us, trust us. It's going to be good. We're taking into account all, what all of you have to say. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Only time is going to tell. But the most important thing that I have to say is one major thing they need to fix is, and I've said it many times, Galadriel. Oh my God, I hate this character. She is not a nice person. Okay, my friends, I'm going to end this. And again, I want to hear your thoughts and comments on it. So please respond. Click the like button and subscribe, my friends. That definitely help us out a lot. I'm WFS, your doctor. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.